see, Robert? Do, do you see it? Do you see that? Do you see it's changed? You tell me, Robert. Tell me that you don't see what I see. Go ahead, Quinn. Tell her. I I don't know what you're talking about. I don't see any difference. I'm talking about the hair. Don't you see it? God, it doesn't look like me. It looks like Eden. Well, Robert. Sweetheart, maybe it's the light. It's not the light, Robert. It's not the light. It looks like her. It's changed. It's, it looks... I'm sorry. Is something wrong? <sighs> no, Eden. Nothing's wrong. I think so. Well, you have my number here if anything goes wrong. Yes, I do, and I will call you if anything happens, I promise. Well, I'll check in later. Okay. Uh, good luck with your game. This is not a game, darling. Sorry, Daddy. Good luck with your revenge. I cannot believe that you want her to move into the towers. Kelly Eden just wants to help. Help? So. Yeah, she wants to help. Uh huh. I'm sitting there trying to talk to you. You tell me I'm crazy, and who pops up? Eden. No, you are not crazy, and I didn't tell you no. anything like that. What would you call it? Because I saw that face down there, and it turned into Eden's face, and you say that it didn't, and it's not trick of the light. Shh, shh, shh. Look, you are under a great deal of stress and strain, and you are coping with a hundred different, very difficult adjustments. Don't do talk that way, because you only make it worse. What do you mean? You say coping with and, and stress and strain, and instead of saying that I'm crazy or I'm freaked out. No, it's not that at all. Maybe I am crazy. Because I know that it's Eden's face down there, and I know that I smell her perfume in here, Kelly, and I know that I saw her nightgown. Been here, remember? Just hear me out. We're talking about Eden, okay? She's the one that claimed you were having an affair. She has been against this relationship from the very beginning. She is the one that showed up the night of our wedding and went on ranting and raving about Deborah London. And you want her to live here. You want her to move into the house. But I told you it would only help you get better quicker. You, you, you help me get better. And, and you want her to see us together, okay? But it doesn't add up. All right. I would rather that we were just alone here, just the two of us, but I, I can't handle it alone. I, I just can't. Why a nurse or, or a housekeeper? Why her? А может, нам и вправду никто не нужен? Давай уедем отсюда ко всем чертям. Что? Поедем на какой-нибудь остров. В Грецию, где нас никто не найдет. Нет, это бесплодные мечты, не сейчас. Почему это должно быть всего лишь мечтой? Ну, конечно, поехали. If you try. I try. What do you think I do all day? Every time you turn your back, every time Eden walks out of the room, I will my legs to move. An inch, a half an inch. I am not crazy. I'm paralyzed. I believe you. I do. Hi. Hi. Oh, you know what? I forgot your pills upstairs. I'm gonna go get them. I don't need them. No, I'll just be a minute. It's okay. Well, here we are. You know what he just said to me? No. That he needs you, your help. He did. I'm a burden now. You're not a burden. It's been just a little time. He's having a hard time adjusting. That sympathy for Robert? Of course. You see what this has done to him. And, and you see how much he cares for me. Yes, I've noticed. That wouldn't prompt you to say that you were wrong about him, would it? 
Kelly, I hope I'm wrong. I really do. I don't know what to believe anymore. You know, if something's bothering you, I hope you know you can talk to me. I'm not real good at opening up right now, Eden. I'm giving my own counsel. Look, um, I did something. Now, I hope this isn't going to bother you, but I did something without talking to you. Oh, that's a surprise. Kelly, I called a man named Dr. Winter. He's a specialist. He helped me to walk again. Now, he's going to come in tonight, and I just know he's going to be able to help you. And you know best. Kelly, listen. He can train me and Robert so we can help you. So we can really help you. Does Robert know about this? Did the two of you cook this up behind my bed? I did it bed? on my own. I won't let you take over my life, Eden. I will not let you. I won't let you. I will not let you do it. Got the pills for you. What is something wrong? Nothing much. Eden has made an appointment with a therapist to drop by. No, she's having him flown in from New York. Thank you, Eden. What? Look, I know you've been having a really tough time. I just wish this had happened to me instead of you. But I think it's time you realize that maybe somebody else has a better idea about what needs to be done. So you think Eden did the right thing? I think she wants to help, and I think that she probably thought that if she came to you with this idea about the doctor, you'd just say no. So we bring the invalid tea and toast and decide her therapy behind her back. We may have a miracle here. I may walk. <laughs> Look at the two of you falling all over each other to agree. Kelly. Please, trust me. Trust us. You guys let me know what you decide. I'm going to bed. Wait, no. Uh, yeah, don't, don't go up there, Kelly. Uh, I mean, we, we need to talk. I don't want to talk to either one of you. Well, we're going to talk. This isn't just about Eden or, or therapy. It's, it, uh, it's about the rest of our lives together. So whether or not I use Eden's doctor affects the rest of our lives? Kelly... I just think that we we need to be united on this. I, I'm sorry, I just don't understand. We want you to get better, and that's the only thing that really matters. After everything she has said to you and said about you, you let her move in, and, and then you let her call the shots. All I'm asking is that you talk to Dr. Winter. That's it. You know, you both act like I have a lot to say in all of this. I, you asked me, can Eden move into the house? And I said, no. She's our star boarder. If I say no, I don't want to see this doctor today. Is that going to stop him from showing up? Kelly, look at me. Look in my eyes. This is not about Eden. It's about you. About you walking again. Please do this. For me. For us. I'll get the door. Thank you. Oh. Hi. Eden. Eden, it's good to see <laughs> nice you. Nice to see you again. <laughs> God, you look wonderful. Oh, thank you. Well, please come on in. I want to introduce you to my sister. Well, this is my sister, Kelly. Barr. Kelly Barr. Kelly. Hi. And I'm Robert Barr. Robert, thank you for coming, Doctor. Nice to see you. Listen, now, uh, excuse me, <laughs> I'm just going to leave you two alone, three alone, and, and you can talk privately. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Well, well, want to sit down, doctor? Oh. Right. Kelly, why do I get the idea that you're not sure about entering into therapy? <clears throat> the hospital led me to believe that I was in therapy. Oh, I, I know, but see, this, this program is going to be more intense and accelerated, that's great. That's exactly mm -hmm. what we want, right, darling? That's what a few people would like. 
You see, in, in one sense, Kelly, you're a very lucky woman. I understand that you're a horsewoman. I was. Yeah, but a strong and an athletic woman. Now, all this is going to help. That's great. That's really great. When do we start? Well, right away. And uh, Kelly and Eden and I will get together and we'll lay out a whole program of exercises. Uh, doctor, why Eden and not my husband? Well, I, I, um, I would uh, let your husband join us, of course, and, and you can do it at any time you want. But, see, the thing is, you have another advantage, Kelly. Your sister's been all through this before. And I've just learned that former patients make excellent coaches. Lucky me. Kelly, uh, believe me, I'm not glossing over the reality of what has happened to you. And your sister and your husband and I are asking a lot of you, but for this program to work, you have to, you have to commit to it. Personally. And nobody else can do that for you. Yeah. Just like... some other things in my life, it's completely up to me. agreed to the therapy. Well, I'm glad. Dr. Winter feels that it will be best if I work with you, since you haven't been through this before. Well, if it's all right with you. Fine. Great. So, when do we get started? Well, tonight. A few preliminary exercises. And he also says that it's not going to work unless I fully commit to it, which I am going to do. I'm going to use you, Eden. Robert and I want to get on with our lives, and we want to be happy. That's what you want for us, isn't it? For us to be happy? Of course I do. Why, things change, huh? Well, let's, um, uh, do it. Go ahead. Where do you want to work? In, uh, in your bedroom. Uh, no. No, that's, uh, no, he's kind of drafty up there. Uh, it's not, not really a good room. I think the guest room would be much better, don't you? Oh, uh, whatever. Um... Robert, would you uh, mind giving me a hand? I have some equipment in the car. Not at all. Excuse me. Sure. Right sure. Okay. So you're going to get me on my feet again? Well, I hope to help you. I'm not going to fight you anymore, Eden. I'm going to use you. Good. You do anything it takes. I'm sure I'll be successful. I have you and Robert. Eden and Robert. Robert and Eden. Who could ask for anything else? Mm -hmm. 